Elon Musk never stops astonishing us. His never give up story of SpaceX, Tesla, PayPal, we all know about it. It was a very successful one. But this time, he made an impossible announcement which can be made possible. Well, since the COVID-19 pandemic, Elon Musk is in the news all the time. And he also founded a new company called as Neuralink. It is also in the news all the time. Elon Musk says that he can solve all the neurological related problems with their product, which is a small chip and it is implanted in the brain. It is also brain machine interface, which has a goal of human enhancement. They also claim that they can solve memory loss issues and the product, which is in the form of chip fitted inside the brain and connected to the computer can store the memories too. Well, a similar kind of video I have made earlier. You can watch it by just clicking on the i button. So without wasting our time, let's get started. Well, storing memory sounds like science fiction. Do you remember Professor Dumbledore from Harry Potter movie who had a ball filled with his memory which he stored in it? Must be anxious enough as it is. Knowing what lies ahead. And again, we all are. Yeah, exactly the same. Well, Elon Musk founded Neuralink claims that they can solve various issues related to neurological problems. This is made possible by just a small chip which is inserted in our brain by a robotic surgery which is connected to the computer. This chip is nothing but a brain machine interface. Since this is a technological device, it has to be charged and it is charged by inductive charging which takes almost around 8 hours to fully charge. Actually, our brain gets the signal from the body via neurons and these signals are electrical impulses or signals. Elon Musk says that all neurological problems are solved if we, if we can identify all these errors occurring in the signals which are going to the brain and this chip solves the error. Well, the chip has very microscopic wires even smaller than our hair. This microscopic wire acts as an electrode which are inserted inside our brain very carefully by a surgery done by the robots specially designed for it and Elon Musk also says that this surgery of inserting the chip in the brain is bloodless and no one can even notice it. The surgery will just leave a tiny scar on our head which we will be barely noticeable. Well. That's really shocking. I know how does it feels. It must be feeling like either Elon Musk is bluffing or I must be bluffing. Well, the microscopic wires are electrodes that read all the electrical signals by the neurons to and fro from our brain throughout our body. It can figure out what actions we performing based on reading the signals of our brains. So Elon Musk in his Demonstration of Neuralink says that this chip is capable of solving any error which occurs in our brain by reading the electrical signals. Well, these errors is the signals are responsible to the neurological problems. All right, welcome to the Neuralink product demo. I'm really excited to show you what we've got. I think it's gonna blow your mind. Uh, 
So the, the, the primary purpose of this uh, demo is actually recruiting. So I'm going to emphasize this at the beginning and then again at the end. Um, we're, we're not trying to raise money or uh, do anything else. The, the, the main purpose of this is to convince great people to come work at Neuralink and help us bring the, the product to, to fruition, uh, make it affordable and reliable, and, uh, and such that anyone who wants one can have one. And um, so I want to emphasize the, the purpose of Neuralink. Like, what, uh, what are we, what's our goal? Our goal is to solve important spine and brain problems with a seamlessly, seamlessly implant, implanted device. So you want to have a device that you can basically uh, put in your head um, and feel and look totally normal, uh, but it solves uh, some, some important problem um, in your brain or spine. And the, the reality is that almost everyone uh, over time will develop brain and spine problems. Uh, these range from uh, minor to very severe, but if you live long enough, you, you, everyone's going to basically have some kind of um, neurological disorder. And these range from, you know, from memory loss to brain damage. But um, the, the thing that's important to appreciate is that uh, is, is that a, an implantable um, device can actually solve these problems. Um, I'm, I think a lot of people don't, don't quite realize that. Um, but all of, these, the, all, all of your senses, your sight, hearing, feeling, um, pain, uh, these are all electrical signals sent by neurons to your brain. And if you can uh, correct these signals, you can solve everything from memory loss, hear, memory loss, hearing loss, blindness, paralysis, depression, insomnia, extreme pain, seizures, anxiety, addiction, strokes, brain damage. Can, these can be solved. These can all, can all be solved with an implantable uh, neuro, uh, neural link. This is uh, an extremely fundamental thing, and I think a lot of people don't quite understand that. Um, the neurons are like wiring. Um, and you kind of need an electronic thing to solve an electronic problem. So current medical research, uh, it, we'll just go through what is the state of the art in medical research, uh, and, then, and then what's the state of the art in what consumers or, or people in general can get. So the current medical research uh, has shown that you can uh, read neurons in a human's brain. So there's something called the Utah array, which has about 100 channels per array. Uh, but it's, it's like, kind of like a, it's a bed of rigid spikes that's literally inserted with an air hammer. Uh, so, you know, that's slightly discomforting, I think. Um, and there's a big, there's, there's wires and a box on your head. And so it's some infection risk. Um, and obviously, it, it will look pretty weird if you're walking around with boxes on your head. Um, and in, in order to use it, you have to have an expert medical profession, professional there. And it's only been done in a few dozen pe people. So. Um, but it is a, uh, served as an important, important proof of concept that this can be done. So we, we did want to uh, point, point this out and, and show that this is, actually does work. Um, it's just not something that the average person could, have, could use effectively. And in terms of what is currently available, uh, there is something called deep brain stimulation, where they put electrodes, a small number of electrodes uh, in your brain, and they will actually uh, zap your brain with an electric current um, and it's, it's, it's valuable for its uses, but it can't read or write high bandwidth information. Um, I would say this is sort of a, a bit like sort of kicking the TV, which does work, uh, but not always, and it has limitations. Um, nonetheless, th this has greatly helped over 150,000 people, um, and it's, so it's, it's actually, just despite being somewhat of a brute force approach, it has been very effective for a lot of people, and this is what's currently available. So we want to radically improve this by multiple orders of magnitude, improve by a factor of 100, then 1,000, then 10,000. So uh, going into the Neuralink architecture, uh, what we've done over the past year is dramatically simplify the device. So we, 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 about a year ago, we had a device which uh, had uh, uh, m multiple parts, including a piece that it had to sort of sit behind your ear um, and it was, it, was, it was complex, and you, and you wouldn't still look totally normal. You'd have a thing behind your ear. So um, we've simplified this to simply something that is uh, about the size of a large coin. 
um, and it, it goes, uh, inner skull replaces a piece of skull, um, and the wires uh, uh, then, then connect uh, within a few centimeters or about an inch away from the device. Um, and this is sort of what it looks like. So, yeah. This is that little device. Uh, it does, that, that thing at the bottom is just to hold the threads in place because they're just like little fine wire, wires. Um, I mean, fr frankly, to, to sort of simplify this, uh, uh, what, what we're, <laughs> I mean, it's more complicated than this, but it's, in a lot of ways, it's kind of like a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. So, um, and it's, uh, yeah, so our, our current prototype version 0 0.9 has about a thousand channels. Uh, so that's you know, about a hundred times better than the, the next best um, uh, consumer device that's available. And it's a 23 millimeters by eight millimeters. It actually uh, fits quite nicely in your skull because your, your skull is about 10 millimeters thick. So uh, it fits, it's, it goes flush with your skull, it's invisible, and all you can see afterwards is that there's a tiny scar, and if it's under your hair, you can't see it at all. In fact, I could have a neural link right now, and you wouldn't know. Maybe I do. So, uh, and it, it's also got all, all the things that you would expect to see, the sensors you'd expect to see in a smartwatch uh, or a phone, like uh, inertial measurement, temperature, pressure. Uh, so there's actually a lot of functions that this device could do uh, related to monitoring your health and warning you about a possible heart attack or stroke or other uh, damage, as well as uh, sort of convenience features like playing music. Um, you do a lot. Um, it's sort of like if your phone went at your brain or something. Um, yeah, maybe that's not a great analogy. Um, all right, so it's also inductively charged. So um, it's charged in the same way that you, char you charge a smartwatch or a phone. Um, and so you can use it all day uh, charge it at night and have full functionality. So you would really, um, yeah, it would be, it would be completely seamless uh, and uh, yeah, no wires. Uh, in terms of getting a link, so that, um, we, you need to have the device, uh, a great device, and you also need to have a great robot that uh, puts in the, uh, the electrodes and uh, does the surgery. So you want the surgery to be as, as automated uh, and, and as possible, and the only way you can achieve the level of precision that's needed is with an advanced robot. Um, so we're really looking for uh, great people who can help develop both the device uh, and the robot. Um, and we feel confident about getting the, uh, the link procedure, the, the installation of a link, done in under an hour. Um, so you can basically go in in the morning and leave the hospital in the afternoon. And it can be done without general anesthesia. So in terms of getting a link, like I said, it's essentially uh, you open a piece of skull, um, you remove uh, about a coin-sized piece of skull, uh, and then the robot inserts the electrodes. Uh, we'll talk more about that later. Uh, then the device replaces the portion of skull that was removed, and we, we basically close that up with actually a super glue, which is how a lot of wounds are closed, and, uh, and then you can just walk around right, after, right afterwards, it's pretty cool. So this is our surgical robot. And we actually ultimately want this robot to do uh, essentially the entire surgery. Uh, so in, in everything from, from in, incision, uh, removing the, the skull, inserting the electrodes, placing the device, um, and then um, closing things up and having you ready to, to leave. So we want to have a fully automated system. And we've, to be clear, this, this robot d does actually work. <laughs> we've used it for uh, all of the uh, implantations. Um, so this, this shows you um, a sort of close-up view, uh, which I think is actually not too gruesome, uh, of the electrodes being inserted in the brain. And if you look closely, you'll see that um, that's a, it's a little counterintuitive that uh, if the electrodes are inserted very carefully, that there is no bleeding. Um, and so the, uh, if you have very tiny electrodes and if they're inserted very carefully, 
so that the robot actually images the brain and makes sure to avoid any veins or arteries so that the electrodes can be inserted um, with no noticeable damage. So you will have no noticeable uh, neural damage uh, in inserting the link. Yeah, it, like you sort of think like if you stab something with a wire, surely it will bleed. But actually, at a, at a really small scale, it does not. So does it actually work? And uh, what I'm excited to show you, um, I'll call it like the, the, the Three Little Pigs demo. Um, and uh, if our, uh, and I'll have this bring, bring out the, the pigs. And what we're going to show you is a, well, I'll walk right over and show you. So what we have in pen number one is Joyce, uh, and she does not have an implant. It's obviously healthy and happy. Um, <laughs> we're trying to get Gertrude out. Uh, this is how you know it's a live demo. She's a little, she's like eh, she's trying to eat something in the corner of her pen. Um, come on, Gertrude. Here we go. <laughs> Snacks are this way. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll, wait. we'll give Gertrude a second, and we'll move on to Dorothy. <laughs> Sometimes the pigs are a little shy. So here's Dorothy. Um, and in the case of Dorothy, um, Dorothy used to have an implant, and then we removed the implant. So this is uh, an, a very important thing to uh, demonstrate is reversibility. So if you, if you have a neural link and then you decide you don't want it or you want to get an upgrade and the neural link is removed, um, is it removed in such a way that you are still healthy and happy afterwards? And what Dor Dorothy illustrates is that you can put in the neural link, remove it, and be healthy, happy, and indistinguishable from an old pig. Oh, thanks, Dorothy. <laughs> Man, Gertrude, are you serious? <laughs> okay. Um, well, it should, should we bring them all out or something? Would, would that be better? How about everyone, everyone just comes into this pen? Okay. We'll just have a few, it'll be a little crowded, but whatever. Harriet is okay. <laughs> all right. Well, is, is Gertrude still back in the thing? Yeah. Okay, we need to bring Gertrude out. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the beauty of live demos. This is real live demo. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Maybe we can zoom in to do Gertrude or something. <laughs> She's clearly very interested in something at the back of her pen. Can you see her? Or? All right. All right, it's going to take a sec. Um, well, this, this worked earlier. Um, <laughs> All right, well. What, what if we if we lift the curtain and then zoom in? All right, here we go. Great. Okay. Great. <laughs> okay. This is a this is high energy pig. Um, all right, Gertrude. Thanks for coming out. Um, so what you're, the, the beats you're hearing are real-time signals from the neural link in Gertrude's head. So this neural link connects to neurons that are uh, in her snout. So whenever she snuffles around and touches something with her snout, uh, that sends out uh, 
neural spikes, which are detected here. Um, and so on the screen, um, you can see uh, each, each of the, the spikes from the 1,024 electrodes. And, and then if, you, if she, yeah, she snuffles around, touches this knot in the ground, or you kind of feed her some food, pigs love food, um, then uh, you, you can see the neurons um, will fire much more than when you're not touching this now. And uh, that's what's making the, the beeping sound. All right, cool. So as you can see, uh, we have a uh, healthy and happy pig. Um, initially shy, but obviously high energy and, and uh, you know, kind of loving life. And uh, she's had the implant for two months. So this is a healthy and happy pig with an implant that is two, month old, two months old and working well. Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> um, and then um, we actually have, I hope this works, is, so we said, well, what if we do two neural link implants? Um, and we've been able to uh, do uh, dual neural link implants uh, in, um, actually, I think three pigs at this point, and we have a couple of them here. Um, and we've been able to show that you can actually have multiple neural links implanted. Um, and again, healthy and happy and indistinguishable from a normal pig. So, um, so it's possible to have multiple links in your, in your head and have them all be sending out signals and be working well. All right. <laughs> Phew. All right, so we just showed you a demonstration of uh, reading brain activity. And... Um, See, probably see that. Um, as I was saying, uh, each of those dots represents a neural spike, and the, um, the the blue chart at the bottom is showing an accumulation of neural spikes in that region. So, uh, in, in in terms of additional uh, brain reading activity, uh, when we have um, say um, one of our pigs on a treadmill, <laughs> pig on a treadmill, <laughs> um, funny funny concept, really. Um, and we uh, take the, the readings from the neurons and we try to predict the posi position of the joints. Um, and so we say we have the predicted position of the joints and then we, we measure the actual position of the joints. You can see that they're almost exactly aligned. So we're able with um, a wireless neural, imp neural implant to actually predict the position of, of all of the limbs uh, in the pig's body uh, with, with very high accuracy. Now, in terms of, of writing to the brain or stim stimulating neurons, uh, we obviously need pr precise control of the electric field in, in space and time. We need a wide range of current for different brain regions. Uh, some, some regions require delicate stimulation, some require a lot of current, uh, and, and you want obviously no harm to the brain over time. Um, and the way we, um, part of the way we analyze the, the stimula stimulating neurons uh, is with a two photon uh, microscopy. I, I always have trouble pronouncing it, microscopy. Um, and uh, it's very impressive technology. You can actually literally see in real time uh, how the neurons are firing. So uh, the, the red sort of things are the neurons, red, red sort of flashing things are the neurons uh, firing, or I should say the, uh, uh, the electrodes firing. So the red things are electrodes firing, and then the green are the neuron bodies responding to uh, the current from the electrode. So you can see them lighting up different brain regions. Uh, and then by carefully controlling the electric field, you can actually have one electrode uh, influence possibly 1,000 or 10,000 neurons. So although you might only have 1,000 electrodes implanted, you could be influencing um, millions of neurons. And this is just a, a similar chart showing uh, stimulation at different uh, power levels. So, like I said, for well, the initial device, it's read, write in every channel uh, with about 1,024 channels, all day battery life, uh, recharges overnight, uh, has quite a long uh, range. So you can, you can, you can have uh, the range, uh, the range being to your phone, I should say. That's um, kind of an important thing. This would connect to uh, your phone. Um, and actually, the, so the, the application uh, would be on your phone. 
and, the, and it will be communicating by, by essentially Bluetooth low energy to the device in your head. Um, that's why I say it, in a lot of ways it is like a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. So, um, and then like I said, it, you would not be able to see the device at all. It would, you would look completely normal and just have a small scar uh, under your hair. And we're making good progress towards clinical studies. Um, I'm excited to announce that we received a, a breakthrough device designation from the FDA in July, uh, thanks to the hard work of the Neuralink team. So, so I want to be clear, we're working closely with the FDA, um, and we'll, um, we'll be extremely rigorous. In fact, we will, um, we will significantly, significantly exceed the minimum FDA guidelines for uh, safety. We'll make this uh, as safe as possible. Um, you know, just as with, with Tesla, while it is legally possible to ship a one-star car, at Tesla, we, the only cars we make are five stars in, in every category. Uh, so uh, we, we actually maximize safety and we'll take the same approach here at Neuralink. Um, and then to emphasize again, uh, what the goal of this presentation is, is recruiting. We want um, people who are great at solving problems to join the company and help us uh, complete this device, uh, take care of the animals, um, write the software, uh, create the chips, um, and, um, and and productionize everything. Um, so we need like robotics engineers. I, don't, we, we, I think we also especially need people who have worked on, on product, worked on and shipped products. So if you've like shipped a smartwatch or a phone uh, or you know, any kind of complex electronics or complex device um, or advanced medical devices, uh, we'd love for you to contact us and consider working here. So, um, and, and a very important point to emphasize is that you do not need to have prior experience on brains. So, Well, what I think is until and unless this product is tested on human, we can't say how it will perform. I personally don't know how this revolutionary product will be, but if this becomes successful, then I guess we will be invincible. I hope you found this video very informative. Please like this video and share it and let everyone know how the world is moving forward with the technologies. See you soon guys.